What's up, Boomerites? It's good to see you again. I am King Boomer, wearing my Maryland shirt in honor of Embrace the Suck 21. You might even see a surprise on Daniel's channel soon, so hop on over to his channel. It's Aries in the Nation. I'll put a link in the description below, and you can throw him a subscription and tell him that I sent you, and please call him a Muppet on my behalf, will ya? All right. Anyway, uh, I am pulling another suggestion off of the Discord here. That's in the link below. Or the link is, uh, God, I can't even talk today. The link is in the description below. Okay, folks? So if you have Discord, check it out. I'm pulling this off of the Discord server in the video suggestion box. This is from Left Hand Drill. I, I am scared to ask what that name implies, but uh, Left Hand Drill, this one's for you. This one is called Truss Gone by Jonathan Pye. Now, as far as the title goes, I'm assuming that this has to do with uh, your very brief Prime Minister um, taking a leave of absence forever, it may seem. Um, was it Liz Truss? I think it's Liz Truss. So, I'm assuming this has to do something with that, and as far as Jonathan Pye goes, I'm looking, at, he's got quite a few, almost a million subscribers here, so he must be popular. Um, I have no idea who he is, so this will be my first time seeing him and what he's all about, but uh, I have no idea who he is. Is he a comedian? Um, is he a British? He almost looks like he would be like a news anchor or something like that, just from the thumbnail. You guys know I don't really do research because I like to have genuine reactions seeing things for the first time, so I always ask you guys for the questions because you guys have all the answers for my Muppet behind. Ain't that right? So anyway, let's check out Jonathan Pye. Trust gone, apparently. So let's see what this one's all about. And thank you, Left Hand Drill, for submitting this suggestion. Here we go. So let's take a look at the rise and rapid fall of Liz Truss, who will be the shortest serving prime minister in British history. I mean, that's putting it mildly. Isn't it? It's almost the nicest thing you could say about her, the shortest serving Prime Minister. I can think of a thing or two I'd add to that. Um, well, uh, Liz Truss will be the shortest serving Prime Minister in UK history, and she was dog shit. <laughs> Fucking dog shit. Wow. Her premiership, it would, it would have been a huge disappointment if it hadn't have been such a terrible idea in the first place. Liz Truss being Prime Minister was like a 20-year-old supply teacher in a rough comprehensive shitting themselves in the middle of a GCSE geography lesson and then attempting to continue with the class. Liz Truss, a bland, talentless ferret with the lopsided <laughs> grin and... Oh my god! <coughs> I've never heard of somebody call somebody a ferret. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Who does? Do you guys do that? Call people ferrets? I love ferrets, so does Queen Boer. But I've never heard anybody call somebody else a ferret before. Oh my god. You guys are crazy, and I love it. Rewind that a little bit. So is this what that guy's, this guy's all about? He does rants all the time? Because if he is, I'm subscribing right away. Because I love when people rant. You guys know I do. The geography lesson, and then attempting to continue with the class. Liz Truss, a bland, talentless ferret with the lopsided grin and glassy-eyed look of a person embarrassed to ask for directions. I've... <laughs> hoiked snotty greeners onto the pavement that had better political instincts than the vapid flap of skin that was <laughs> Liz Truss. I've done more charismatic turds. Oh my the God. The state of modern conservatism. A prime minister who was utterly delusional, breathtakingly arrogant, thick as mints, and completely <laughs> lacking the cognitive power to say something, anything at all, of any value whatsoever, ever. And the Conservative Party membership thought she was a good choice 
to run the country. Her only real achievement was limboing under the very low bar that Boris Johnson set for her just weeks ago. She was the inevitable bottom of the Brexit barrel, the political equivalent of a skid mark, a ghost poo that felt <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> what a ghost poo! <laughs> what are the... <laughs> These insults are wild. You know, I thought I've heard almost every British insult that I could hear uh, doing this reaction channel. But this, uh, he called somebody a ferret and a ghost poo. Those are two brand new ones. They're absolutely hilarious. That <laughs> I don't, you know, I would use ferret just because that, that caught me so off guard. But I like ferrets, so... I, I don't want to use that as an insult, but it's it's it it is a good one. But this is this is great. I'm really liking this one. Oh, but hey, it's gone. Dog shit <laughs> from start to finish. How mad is it? How desensitized we are to this chaos. Amazing how used we are to the cogs of government not moving at all. How accustomed we are to the self serving lack of talent that constitutes the British Conservative Party. This party, this country, our politics has been out of control for a very long time. Years. Because no one in government can admit the truth. That there are no sunlit uplands. There never was any taking back of control except that of the lunatics taking control of the asylum. And then <laughs> shitting the bed as soon as they realise that with political power comes the reality of actually running an actual country with actual real human beings with actual real fucking problems. <laughs> when was the last time someone was actually running the country. I'm not talking someone who's politically aligned with me. I'm talking someone competent with a modicum of integrity and an ounce of intelligence. When? Because over the summer we had months and months of inaction and lies and excuses and more lies and inaction from Boris Johnson. Then she swoops in, kills the Queen, crashes the markets, and then fucks off. And now I'm in a position whereby this time next week I could very well be reporting that Boris Johnson is our new Prime Minister. Again! Dog shit. Fucking dog shit. More turbulence, more lack of direction, more bullshit, more infighting, more contempt for the voter. Dog shit. Well. Well, the runners and riders in this all too familiar conservative leadership bid have yet to. <laughs> then it just keeps going. <laughs> so, what? Is he, is he a news anchor who takes his outtakes and rants like that and just puts them on his YouTube channel? Uh, I'm throwing this guy a subscription right away. I'll tell you what, we need somebody like uh, Mr. Jonathan Pye over in this country to uh, do those rants on both the major parties over here. That's for sure. I would love to see him do that. Um, wow, he really railed into the conservative, conservative party, didn't he? Does he, uh, <clears throat> does he rail on the Labor Party too and the other smaller parties? Who knows? Um, I, because with that passion and energy, I hope he rails on everybody. That was a classic rant right there. I loved it. We would like to recruit him for the United States, please. Bring him over here. Jonathan Pye. I would love to see him rail on the uh, Republicans and the Democrats over here because, you know... Those of you know, I'm not too political, but I don't. I'm not fond of either party, and uh, I think they both need a guy like this to set them straight. <laughs> but this was great. I'm, I subscribed to him right away. That was a real treat. So thank you, Left Hand Drill. That was fantastic. I want to see more of this guy. If you have other Jonathan Pie suggestions, put them in the link uh, in the comments below, and maybe I'll check them out when I have time. But I, that was that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. Double thumbs up for me. And I hope to see more of them. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have other suggestions, put them there too. I'm King Boomer. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And uh, we'll see you in the near future for more reaction videos. Maybe I'll go on a rant one day. How about that? Okay? All right. Hope you guys have a lovely day. 
and stay safe out there. Peace out, Boomerites.